You killed Maggie. That he did. He was a god. But you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps. But I. And his father is Thor. Not minor. Not minor at all, him. This will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment, no. But if vengeance is any concern. Since when can you kill a god? <coughs> you boys look like you're gearing up for quite the journey. We were here before. Which way back? There's an abandoned temple in Midgard that a fellow dwarf converted to his personal storeroom. Packed it with all sorts of treasures he collected during his travels throughout the realms. Throughout the realms? Which ones did he go to? What did he collect? Fafnir was a, shall we say, aggressive collector of magical artifacts. The more he acquired, the more he desired. There was no realm too dangerous, no relic too hazardous. He once ventured deep into Niflheim for a whetstone of all things. Huh. I bet that was quite the whetstone. Does this story have a point? Yes, it does! I just happen to have an entry stone to Fafnir's storeroom. You might find something useful in there. Neat. Thanks, Sindri. You're very welcome. Oh, and uh, if you find that whetstone, well, it sure would be nice of you to bring it to me. Let's get to it. I'd advise caution if you're heading to the storeroom. Last I was there, all manner of nastiness had taken up residence. Won't your friend be upset if we steal all the stuff? Oh. <laughs> no. No, not at all. He's dead. I think. Oh. Sorry. No. No need to be sorry. These things happen when one travels from realm to realm, collecting priceless artifacts that don't belong to you. There is something else to tell you. I don't think the lad's doing too well. I'm fine. <laughs> if so, then keep up. Yes, Magni didn't come back to life. That is interesting. It's known the Aesir find their own way to Valhalla. No Valkyrie escort, no processing at the gates of Helheim. That may be significant.
a giant's hand. What? What is this place? Fisherman would bring the day's catch into this port and use that contraption to send some of it directly to the Jarl's main kitchen. The rest were sorted and sold. There is an exit under the thumb. Find a way across. There's a path to the exit on the other side. I think that did it. under his palm. We're almost there. Everything we just did. Climbed around a dead giant. Wrote a giant falling hammer. Fought some bad gods. What do you think Mother would say? Bet you have come a long way. Thanks. 
What now then? Maybe Freya ought to have a look at the boy. No, I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well, now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel room to Yacht Knight, so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak, and open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? Alas, no. But the serpent did mention that the giants had entrusted that secret to Tyr. Isn't Tyr dead? Aye. But his hidden boat is very much in reach. The doors are beneath his temple, submerged in the lake for generations until our snake friend shifted his weight. There we shall find the fabled Black Rune of Jotunheim. We could also explore some more. We've got a chisel now, and that vault isn't going anywhere. Seems a shame to waste the boat. We shall see, boy. Hey, Mimir, last we were in a boat, you had just started the story. What did you want to tell me about the Long War? Both sides suffered tremendous losses. And for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Mm, precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people, a selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. Ooh, Tyr's vault is behind that magical lock. Setting foot in Tears Vault. Another one of these. Over there! It's Tear, but the middle panel is missing. Wait, I thought Tear was a god, not a giant. Ah, but he was loved by everyone, including the giants. Other than me, he was the only one they gifted with their special sight. Hey, I wonder if the giants left a triptych about me somewhere, too. Go ahead. Actually, come look. Let me show you how to read this. That is not necessary. You've taught me so much. Let me teach you something. Atreus. Come on. You already speak it. Learning to read won't be that hard. I know how to read, boy. Just not this tongue. You're halfway there already, then. Okay. So the runes represent a lot of different things. Some gods. Some animals. Wait. Some Oh, am I going too fast? Sorry, Not I Not that. Do you smell something? Yeah, I do. Smells like... Rain? You ruined everything! I earned that fucking hammer! But now, everyone's gonna think I only got it. Because Magni's gone! It'll be a joke! But if I kill you, no one's gonna laugh at me! Oh, are you dumb? That your father's doing? Or did you get it from your mum? She's stupid and ugly. You don't know anything about 
got my mother! Oh, it's true. But I'm gonna get to know you really well. You're gonna be my new brother. Right after I finish killing your father! Oh! Whoops! I think I broke him! <laughs> oh. No! Stay back! Brother, the boy. Atreus. You have to get into Freya quickly. There's no other way. Take the boat. Freya's isn't far. Odin's eye is on you, brother, especially now that you've taken to killing his kin. Freya's forest is a blind spot for him. This is our smartest move, and if anyone can heal him, it's her. What is happening to him? I've seen it in mortals that some conflict of the mind expresses itself as an ailment of the body. Never am I God, but I God believing himself mortal. I can only imagine. We're almost there. called the serpent. Shaking. It's serious. We must hurry. Freya! Open the door! We need your help! Woman, do you hear me? It is urgent! I'm still a god! Go away! The boy has fallen ill! Freya! Is it? 
Inside. This is no ordinary illness. The boy's true nature, your true nature, fights within him. I did this to him. Will you help me? Of course. There is a rare ingredient found only in Helheim. The keeper that protects the Bridge of the Damned. I need its heart. Mm. Hell. The realm of the dead. Do you know it? Not this one. It is a land of unyielding gold. Fires cannot burn there, and no magic in all the nine realms can create a blaze. As for the dead, your frost axe will be useless. You'll need to find something else. Then I must return home. Dig up a past I swore would stay buried. Who you were before doesn't matter. This boy is not your past, he is your son. And he needs his father. This room opens the bridge to Helheim. When you are there, do not under any circumstances cross the Bridge of the Damned. There is no road back. Understand? Boy. Himmelin, you must hurry. Through my garden, there's a path leading to my boat. Take it. Return home. Dig up your past. Do whatever you need to do. Just bring me back the Bridge Keeper's heart. And your son may survive. Last we spoke, I was... No. You were right to distrust the word of a god. No need to explain. Not to me, not for that. I will keep him safe. That's a mother's promise. Helheim of all places. You all right, brother? I will do what I must. Leave me be.
There's nowhere you can hide, Spartan. Put as much distance between you and the truth as you want. It changes nothing. Pretend to be everything you are not. Teacher. Husband. Father. But there is one unavoidable truth you will never escape. <laughs> You cannot change. You will always be a monster. I know. But I am your monster no longer. Let's see what those bleeds are. I see a door to the realm between realms over there, in your own front yard, no less. Take the shortcut back to the realm travel temple, then on to Helheim, yeah? Well, I'm pretty sure you weren't talking to me back there. Anything you'd like to get off your chest, brother? I can assure you I'm unsurpassed in keeping confidences. Well, you know where to find me. And for the record, I'd already guessed you were Greek. Athena, dead giveaway. foreign magic. Sweet Nana's nethers. What are those? I've never seen the like. That's gotta be a family heirloom. No. 
Nor will it ever be. Son, my brother and me created Mjolnir for the big idiot. I know from quality. And them? Them special. Hey, where's the little turd? He has fallen ill. No. What happened? Aesir? No. The fault is mine. And my responsibility to make it right. Well, we all gotta take responsibility sometime. Huh? Say, what can I do to help? I can do things. What I should tag along? No. Your work here is enough. All right. So where are you off to in such a hurry? The realm of the dead. Helheim? Shit, this is serious. I'll be keeping my eye on you. Now that Freya's given you the travel room to Helheim, it should be unlocked on the table. Watching your back. Let me take this moment to tell you that what you are about to do is absolutely insane. Not even Odin can survive this cold. So, I hope those blades work. Is this the bridge Freya spoke of? No, we're still on the realm travel bridge. But after the Bridge of the Dam, the dead use it to cross into their permanent home, the city of Helheim. The bridge keeper who minds the mission, he's the one we want. Just follow this bridge, it should lead us straight to him. I really hope never to see this place again. Use the fire of your blades to burn away that Hell's Bramble blocking the path. For many reasons we went back for those blades. Dead should be here. There's too many. But the gate must be closed, and if the gate's closed, then it's true. Hell's full up. Without the Valkyrie to sort and cull them, 
Hell is overwhelmed. Locked. Now what? When we killed the Reavers near my home, they came here. How did they return so quickly? Time doesn't move the same between all realms, especially where the spirit world is concerned. Like the Light of Alfheim? The opposite, in fact. The Lake of Souls feels faster than Alfheim time, but Hell is much slower than Midgard. Sorry, I'm sure that's confusing. If we will be back to my son all the sooner, that is good. Ah, aren't you a quick study? of Asgard. Only the worthy dead go there, the warriors who die in glorious combat. Hell is for those who die in dishonor. Criminals. Aye, and those dead of disease, mishap, age. It is dishonorable to grow old. Well, never too late to go out fighting, I suppose. Go! 
Killing the bridge keeper helped the dead leave Midgard. I don't expect it will, though I don't suppose it will make things any worse either. It'll be one less obstacle for the living to reach the inner sanctum of Helheim. But who'd be mad enough to go there? The Bridge of the Damned. And there's the Keeper, making sure the dead are really dead. What is that he holds? That totem contains a powerful source of magical energy, the very power of Helheim itself. But what you want is his heart. Just take it and we can leave. Ow. Start some trouble. You can do that, right? Now the heart, brother. You'll have to get your hands dirty.
Just set. Better not to linger here, though, eh? Kratos. Zeus. Zeus? My father. Your father was Zeus? Well, that explains a lot. What is that place? Never go there. Understand? How is he here? That is not possible. It's just an illusion. Hell's known for torturing its inhabitants with their own past. We should focus on getting back to your son. That lock needs a gust of Hell's wind to open it. Help you in aim too. Come on. Uh, my equipment's in Midgard. Be right back. Yeah. You don't suppose he nicked those, do you? There. And now they're ready for the winds of hell. Just target this magical glowy bit here with your blades and throw. That wind trap with your blade. Is that you both see that? Tell you to absorb and release the winds of hell from every hand. For your welcome, and I believe. I sometimes wonder if there was once some sort of accident in his brain. We have been away too long. Sorry, brother. I'm still stuck in what I heard back there. Zeus was your father? Not now. We should focus on getting out of hell. And with that, I cannot argue. I'll just contemplate that little nugget in silence, then.
Shouldn't delay, brother. It's straight back to Midgard with that heart. Your father was Zeus? I finally understand! I'm dangling from the hip of the bloody ghost of Sparta! Do not call me that. Oh, don't mistake me, brother. From what I heard, the Pantheon had it coming. Still a bit to take in. I knew you hate gods, but you really can't stay away from them, can you? You must say nothing to the boy. He must never know. Bollocks, brother. Respectfully, bollocks. He has to know. He'll never be whole without the truth. Look, I get it. You hate the gods. All gods. It's no accident that includes yourself. And it includes your boy. Do you see that? He feels that. He can't help what he is. He can't begin to help it because you haven't even told him. It's all connected, man. You will tell him nothing. Very well. So you know that shortcut between realms? Well, I made it better. Or I might have broke it. We use that. I know what you do. So I took a few cuss from them winds of hell and made it so it ain't just one way. Now you can use it to travel to and from. If I didn't break it. Then you can take it to Freya. There's an idea, brother. Don't worry, kids are tough. When I was his age, I cut my own head clean off. And I'm none the worse for wear. What's the matter? Try out that shortcut, Twain Realms. Might be some kinks to sort out, but you'll make it. Just go, brother. You gentlemen certainly know how to get around.
Well, this isn't right. Eh, but close enough. He did say there were kinks. We must hurry. The heart. You have it. Yes. Back of your hand. He is still ill. I can break the fever, but to heal... He must know the truth of what he is. Yes. It is not so simple. Help me prop him up. Did I tell you that I have a son, too? It's been... forever since I last saw him. At his birth, the runes foretold a needless death. The babe in my arms was so... small. So helpless. I knew right then I would do anything to protect him. No matter the sacrifice. Of course, everything I did, I did for myself. I let my needs, my fears, come before what he needed. And I couldn't see his resentment until it was too late. Don't make the same mistake. Have faith in him. I know the truth isn't simple, but nothing is when it involves your child. It is a curse. The boy has been cursed. Don't leave without me. I will not. I'm better now. I see that. Is he well enough to travel? For now. It won't happen again. I promise. You see that it does not. Freya, I will not forget this. <laughs>